welcome to another TV Series video. It's been a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Subi smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you so much for being here on the daily. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for clicking in today's video and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from today, you're drinking something delicious, you're sitting in a comfy chair, and you're ready for a shave. You know I am. Today, we got 48 hours of stubble, and we're gonna be knocking it down with the Proof Razor. I absolutely love this razor. It's a pivoting head, single edge, dynamic razor that sets the angle for you with a little bit of pressure. As you apply pressure on it, adjust that angle. I love the razor, but today we're going to be doing it slightly different. We're going to be using it with the high proof top cap, right? For all of you out there that know and have watched the videos here before, know that I love the razor on my right. And today we're going to be using the version one top cap to see if it affects the performance of the razor, right? The version one and the version two are different. They have this um, new scallop system on the version two that increases blade fill and it does seem to increase performance, at least for me. And today I wanted to see what would happen if we switch them over and tried it out with the version one top cap on the version two proof. I think it's going to be a really close shave based on the um, face and neck shave today. I think I'm in for a treat. Ah, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for spending a little time with me this morning. It's going to be a phenomenal shave. Today we're going to be using Orbit by Noble Otter. Orbit, I absolutely love this this time of year, right? It's just got this beautiful scent um, profile to it, even though it has a cooling agent behind it, right? This is one of those colder scents just so you know this time of year it is definitely chill you can see from my skin tone right it's cold it's got this like a really really arctic breeze um kind of vibe to it but the thing i love about it is it does kind of have the eucalyptus and the um sad the sandalwood the cedarwood that has that rose note all of that is definitely still able to be um smelled as you're getting the cold note i like this a lot and because of the synthetic cooling agent it does seem to stick around a little bit longer as far as the cold goes i can tell you that it stays cold for longer so i like this like during summer but i also think with the rose and some of the softer notes behind the fragrance it's perfect for this time of year i really enjoy this one again noble otter and it is orbit awesome stuff really enjoyed this one the lather today phenomenal and we did that with my buddy jeremy's bowl he sent this to me for christmas take a look at this and i know for all of you out there they're like wait it was a christmas gift it was a christmas gift but he wanted me to open it early so i could use it on channel with everybody here take a look at the lather i generated now, this is kind of like a test bowl that he's doing. This is not for sale or anything like that. This was something he was trying out. Jeremy is a master when it comes to wood. I'm telling you, I could not do that if you gave me all the time in the world. To create something this beautiful and like that unique with these beautiful like um, la uh, the lather grooves, they work so well. Now, I do think it could be improved slightly, making it slightly deeper for us head shavers. But as far as the actual being able to generate lather, what really matters to me is surface area. Surface area really helps getting that full splay on your brush. And this does it. You can see it paints on absolutely gloriously, just absolutely gloriously. Look at this stuff. Noble Otter, the base. It is thick. It is rich. It is slick. And it is easy, easy, easy to use. Love this one so much. Smells awesome again and we're using the zenith horsehair this is the soft horsehair brush i love when i'm going to use those those tones that all match together at the sets the photos i just thought turned out really cool and i love their ultra soft horsehair knot it works really really well it doesn't get tangled up doesn't seem to break down and i like that it holds its shape um shape to shave the zenith brush man i i can't give them enough credit awesome stuff with their horsehair brush let's do this thing oh i'm really excited today i like i said this was an idea i had i ran it um over it did the proof because I said, what do you guys think? And they said, make sure to tell everybody it was, it's not recommended. <laughs> It's not recommended. The um, actual magnet system has definitely, definitely been improved. And this is using the less good magnet system. And because they've changed things, right, this doesn't sit quite as flush. So I would say this is a slightly more sketchy shave. But, but this wouldn't be the Subi Shave channel without that once in a while, right? So really excited to see what this does today on the dome. Again, 48 hours of stubble using milder blades. I'm using milder blades because this razor for me seems to have some kick. Now, the funniest part is when I was doing the face shave, I blew through it. It only it took me a few seconds to run it. Take a look what this thing does. That is with the Derby Premium Black Blades. Derby Premium Blacks and the High Proof Razor originally, I couldn't get that close of a shave with the high, with the Derby Premium Blacks. It really required a pretty sharp blade. And that was kind of the nice thing about it. I liked how mild it was and the efficiency I got with sharp blades, but they kind of wanted to go away from that and make it so that it was more efficient. And you can see here, even using that flap cap, I'm getting efficiency 
but I like the fill probably a little bit more actually. It's interesting. I like the fill of this a lot. It's very, very smooth. It actually kind of changes the profile and the, and the actual angle at which it feels like it's shaving. It also increases, as you all like to um, call it, the suction effect, right? I'm getting a little bit more drag. I think that's what I want to call it. It's like the drag, but it seems to pull the skin and the, um, the kind of, it stretches the skin and it makes it so that the stubble goes to the blade a little bit better and a little smoother. I really like that a lot. Now you see this stubble just coming off. It is easy. It is fast and it is smooth. Yeah, I like that a lot. I really am enjoying this one today. I needed a close shave. It's getting that time of year where if you have a bad shave, you know, even a mediocre shave, the cold kind of seems to um, exacerbate that, right? It makes skin conditions. If you have like, you know, dry, irritated skin, even worse. And I just wanted a really good shave today. And I thought to myself, what's a better way of doing that than grabbing one of my favorite dynamic pivoting headed um, single blade, uh, half DE razor blades and going to town and seeing if we can't get a good shave with the old cap. And I can tell you this, the way it's shaving is smooth. It is close. I will say, I will call it out that the actual um, top cap does not sit nearly as flush as far as like being rock solid with the magnet system. So I can definitely, um, I appreciate now, I really appreciate their new and improved magnet system. Boy, oh man. What I would like to see from them is something like this with the new and improved magnet system, like a switchable cap. And I know I'm not the only one. I've had probably 10 or 15 people now reach out to me and say, I want a different cap. I want the original cap back, right? I've had a lot of people actually say that to me, said, you know, I, I've tried the scallop cap and I want the original one back. So, you know, even if I alternate between the two of them, I think it'd be really cool if they offered something like that over at the proof. No, no, you know, cough, cough. <laughs> but I really, really enjoy this. It for me is like a bull of charms, right? It just really, it's just so easy to use. It's autopilot. I don't have to think about anything. I can get a smooth, easy shave in the most difficult spots on my head and the small head on the actual razor makes it very 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 nimble and approachable i think somebody that's coming from a cartridge razor could pick this up and say oh this it feels very similar to my cartridge as far as the actual like the way the technique you shave with you know it doesn't take anything to learn or any skills, any adaption for a modern shaver to get to the ability to shave like this. I like that a lot. I really do like this a lot. Again, the top cap has not come off. I'm shaking it in the sink. I have not had a problem with the top cap coming off. But again, it is definitely, definitely way, way, way less secure as far as the actual connection between the base plate and the top cap. Look at the shave we're getting here. It is fast, it is smooth, it is comfortable. A uh, part of the problem with the high proof and the proof razor, right, is that the shave is so fast that I'm able to just like, I almost feel bad for you guys because it's like I don't get to interact with you for very long. <laughs> the shave is almost too fast, too comfortable and too efficient, right? I love this razor all, so much. And that's why I was so excited to see their version two. Now, so many of us have come out, have mentioned it. The spring system, right, is kind of a love or hate system. But for me, I don't mind the spring system. I don't feel it, right? I, it feels the exact same as the magnet system. It, at least to me it does. And I like the concept of the spring because it is adaptable, right? So say you were to lose a magnet, right? You can always replace a spring. Replacing a magnet's kind of a pain in the butt, right? Another reason why I like the spring is it will allow them to adjust. So if you wanted to get like a soft spring in there, right? If you wanted a little bit more pivot per swipe, if you wanted you to press a little less, you could actually change that by just changing the spring up. I like the concept. It, it allows people to tune the razors if they ever um, come out with something like that, right? like a different spring weight, or um, even if you wanted a heavier spring, say you wanted less pivot to your um, shave, you know what I mean? Then you could go with a heavier spring. I like that a lot and it's accessible to the user. It's not hidden in some back end system that you have to send it in, have them replace it, fix it. I like this, that it's a, like fixable yourself, right? You just take the spring out, adjust it and get a shave that you would like to your preference. I love that the razor is almost, in my opinion, this razor right here, eventually, hopefully someday, I would love to see it being able to be tailored to everybody's preferences, right? Switch your head cap, switch your spring, go to town. I think that could be really cool as is right now. I love the V1 top cap with the V2 razor. I will not lie. No, it is not as tight on the actual cap. You will have to make sure to not, you know, shake it around like you can with the new one. You can't throw it across the room. The new one, you can chalk it across the room and the cap stays on. It's crazy how tight that magnet system is. It's been really improved. But as far as the actual shave quality, the merit behind the shave, the smoothness behind the shave, 
No nicks, no dings, no problems. Absolutely BBS to the BBS and beyond. Can we even say that with orbit on deck? BBS and beyond. Oh my goodness, it's close. It's comfortable. It is so nice. And the best part is it was really fast and really easy to do. As a head shaver, I love this thing. The proof razor. I, I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not. I've had a lot of people that love their standard safety razor say, I can't get into this. I really enjoy it. I, maybe I'm unique in that I can just like, I just enjoy a BBS, right? That's all I'm searching for is a perfect BBS. And this gives it to me every single time with so little effort. We're grabbing ourselves a little orbit here and we're going to town. We're sending ourselves to space. Oh, it smells so good. Talk about a bowl of charms, a spoonful of the mollows and only the good stuff. This right here is an excellent shape. It was awesome to have you here for it. Oh, I love that. The rose and eucalyptus with the sandalwood and the cedarwood. It all plays so well together and it's all there. I really thought it was going to be overpowered by the cold notes. And it's not. It's a soft, elegant fragrance. That's the only way I can put it. Very elegant. Like a fairy tale. It's, it kind of smells like a fairy land to me. I like this a lot. Really cool scent. Really, really cool scent. I can say that much. I today think this razor, right, is sitting in an awesome spot in the marketplace as far as people that are coming into the craft that want something that's adjustable as far as like not having to learn a skill and adjust to their like, you know, the, the angle they need without having to think about it. I like that a lot, right? Fully dynamic, right? It, di it dynamically changes that angle as you're kind of pivoting it. And I think that's really helpful for somebody that's learning the craft. It's also helpful for us that want to shave our heads without very little you know, energy. We don't want to think about it. And it's just easy mode. Awesome shaver. Again, the proof razor. Thank you for joining me for it. It was an awesome shave. And I do think it has some areas that could be improved, right? I think there's some things that they could do to make the razor even better. But as is right now, I really enjoy it. And I enjoyed having you here for it. If you have it, Please go below, smash that sub button. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And until I talk to y'all again, soon. <laughs>